In today's video, I'm going to be making my daughter uh, some birthday cupcakes. She is actually 18 today. And these cupcakes that I'm gonna make, um, she's gone this evening for school activities and so when she comes back, I wanna surprise her with them. And also we'll have them for the rest of the week and into the weekend, which we're gonna celebrate her birthday this weekend as well. So, the cupcake I'm making, it's kind of a designer cupcake. It's one, I'm making up a cupcake as I go. I'm going to be using several ingredients. Some are boxed, like I'm using a devil's food cake mix of chocolate. I'm going to be using some pudding. So the birthday cupcake I plan on making is, I'm going to be making a decadent chocolate Rolo cupcake with a cream cheese icing. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I've never made it before, but let's get started and I'll show you what I'm putting in it. So I'm starting with a chocolate cake mix. Then I'm going to add a chocolate pudding mix. This one happens to be 5.85 ounces. I'll have to let you know if I think that that is too much or not. This happens to be the family size. Then I'm going to add a stick of melted butter. I brewed some coffee. If you watched my previous video on making the chocolate cupcakes with the ganache topping, I like to use coffee in place of water. But in this recipe, not only am I gonna be using coffee, I'm also going to be using milk. So this is one cup of milk, one cup of coffee, and then I'm going to add four eggs. And these are from my ladies. And again, if you've watched me make my cupcakes before with using the eggs, I let you know that I always crack them one or two at a time just to make sure that there are no chicks inside the eggs since we have a rooster. And I also save my eggshells for my garden. One more ingredient I almost forgot, sour cream. I'm going to use half this container. This is a 16 ounce, so I'm gonna use approximately one cup of the sour cream. This happens to be a light sour cream that I'm using. So now I'm going to mix this up for two solid minutes on high. Okay, two minutes is up. Next step, look how thick. Look how thick that is. Next, I'm gonna use my handy dandy scoop and scoop the batter in. Only fill them approximately halfway full. Maybe slightly more than that, but if you fill it too full, you're gonna have the muffin tops. Unless you like that kind of thing. Okay, I'm just gonna tap this down and pop this in a preheated 350 degree oven for 20 minutes, approximately. Okay, so I have about a minute left in the oven. What I'm gonna do, I'm kinda doing an experimentation I am taking some Rolos and special dark chocolate, and I'm just breaking these up for the Hershey's and for the Rolos. I'm just taking these out, except I was gonna do all Rolos, but I didn't have enough. There's only eight in a package, and I have three packages, so that's 24. And I had a little bit more than that. I had about um, a little more than three dozen cupcakes in terms of the batter. So what I'm gonna do, I've never done this before, and I don't know if any of you have done it, is as soon as I pull the cupcakes out, they're gonna be super hot. I'm just gonna take these and shove them in the center and let them melt. I would have put it in the batter, but I don't know if you've ever done that. 
they seem, whatever you put in the batter seems to sink to the bottom. And I don't like that. Okay, so the oven's going off. Let's go ahead and bring these over here and get those cupcakes out. Let me make sure they're done. They're springing back. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take these Rolos and I'm just gonna shove them in the middle. And in theory, these will melt and they will stay in place. So I'm gonna continue doing this and when I run out of Rolos, I'm just gonna add the Hershey bars, which I might go ahead and add that to some of them anyways. And after I ice these, we'll sample them and we'll see how they turn out. It could be a total flop or not, but we will see. Stay tuned. So this might be an epic fail. I noticed every one of the cupcakes collapsed. The Rolos, however, have melted. They've been sitting in here for probably about, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. So on second thought, if I make this again next time, I'm just gonna go ahead and bake it inside. And we'll see how that turns out. But in the meantime, I'm seeing this to the end. So let's see what happens. I still have the uh, dozen or so in the oven right now cooking. And as soon as that gets done, which it has about six minutes and 30 seconds left, I will pull those out and I'll just add the chocolate to those, uh, the, cho the Hershey's chocolate. So while those cupcakes are finishing up, I'm going to put unsalted butter, two sticks and a couple of tablespoons, because I happen to have a couple of tablespoons left from other cooking projects. I'm gonna put that in this mixer. I'm using the paddle. This is for our cream cheese icing. And then I'm gonna put two packages of Philly cream cheese. These are two eight ounce packages. And once I get that in there, I am going to cream them together. Now I did set these out on the stove you know, around the stove to kind of warm them up a little bit just to try to bring them to room temperature. Oh, oven's done. So I'm gonna pull that out real quick before I get that started. Okay, so it needed to cook a little bit longer. I put it on for a couple more minutes, so we'll see how that turns out. So I'm just gonna cream these together. Okay, so I creamed this together for about two minutes. So I'm just going to scrape down the sides before I add my seven cups, yes I said seven cups, of powdered sugar. So I went ahead and pre-measured the powdered sugar and I'm just going to add it a little bit at a time and I will just scrape down the sides as needed. This is the messy part. Just going to add in a little bit at a time. I'm also going to add a couple of teaspoons of vanilla extract. Okay, so I am going to scrape this down. It's looking beautiful. I am going to put this in a piping bag with a tip. I'm going to try to find my 1M tip. And this is a little bit on the softer side, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in the fridge just for a little bit, maybe five, five to 10 minutes or so, just to solidify enough to um, firm it up before I ice my cupcakes. And if I forget to tell you later, when you ice, uh, when you use cream cheese icing, um, anything with cream cheese, you need to make sure that you refrigerate it if it's going to be setting out for more than maybe an hour or so. But let me go ahead and get the cupcakes out of the oven. Oh, and I'll show you what I'm going to do to that. So what I decided to do with these is I am just going to throw on maybe two of these pieces of chocolate. 
and just let them melt and then I'll put the icing over it. So I guess it's kind of like a ganache maybe, except minus the heavy whipping cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the rest of these and let them set and melt. And then next time I see you, I will be piping the icing on the cupcakes. So I don't know what the tip, what these tips names are, how they're identified. I must have bought these tips um, as a generic tip, but they're, you can see the shapes. I'm gonna go ahead and do two different bags and um, so we can have two different designs on the cupcakes. So I kind of cheat. I just get one of my big piping bags. I can link below what I use and I just cut off the tip big enough to just slide the piping tip in the bag. And then I'm going to roll it down and pop it in the cup and then fill it up. Okay, so it's about half on that one. And I'm just going to get this ready to go. And I'm gonna pop it in the refrigerator so it can harden a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to finish filling up this bag with the remaining of the icing. I love these bags because of how big they are. They can really fill quite a bit. So I'm gonna pop this in the refrigerator till it firms up a little bit and then I will ice those cupcakes. So I went ahead and I got all the cupcakes out. This was the Rolo side, and this was the melted chocolate side. So they're melting nicely. Now, what I decided to do, and I kind of already cheated because I already tried the Rolo with a little bit of the cream cheese on it, and it's to die for. I know I'm letting the cat out of the bag, but it is to die for. Anyways, um, my suggestion, what I decided to do is I think I'm going to leave these cupcakes out because once I put the cream cheese icing on, I have to store them in the refrigerator. But the problem with that is, is the Rolos with the caramel, I think it's going to harden and it's not going to be as savory as it is from what I tasted. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plate one of each of these and the cream cheese icing has been in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes or so. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out oh. and I am just going to grab one of each of these. So just to let you know on these over here, I went ahead and I cooked them almost eight minutes longer than these because these sunk in a lot and they felt a lot softer. Now, I do not have experience with adding the pudding mix in with this. Um, I'm an experimenter. I just decided to do that with this batch. And I think next time I'm probably going to maybe do a half a cup of milk, half a cup of coffee and see if that makes a difference. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to kick it up a notch and I am going to add a little bit of this Ghirardelli bittersweet chocolate chips to it. If I had Rolos left, I would have added those. So I'm just going to kind of add that. My daughter loves caramel, so I'm going to add a little bit of that to it as well. So there you have it. 
Hayden's birthday cupcakes for this year, the chocolate caramel cupcakes. Let me know if you plan on making this, and if you do, let me know how it turned out. If you have any experience baking cupcakes and using pudding mix, let me know what you would have done differently. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I've already tried this one. This one was the Rolo. It was very, very good. It had a little bit of the caramel on the inside with the chocolate, the melty chocolate, and then that caramel. It was absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in half. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh my goodness. That was very good as well. Like I said, I already tried those and they are fantastic, but these are absolutely delicious as well. If I had to pick one over the other, I would definitely say the Rolo cupcake is my favorite of the two. Well, let me know what you think, and I want to thank you for spending your time watching me in making the last minute birthday cupcakes, and I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Mm.